Hello people of the internet, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can use Roblox's AI Assistant, called Roblox Assistant, to its full potential. Now this is coming from the recent update that Roblox has made, and they announced on the Roblox developer form, which you can read right here, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Um, you can ask it different questions and find answers on how you can build, grow, monetize, and code. The assistant actually gives you good results when you use the method that I'm going to show you guys because it covers all aspects. Um, you can continue a conversation, you can refresh your page to regenerate uh, and have a new conversation from the very beginning. You can uh, give feedback by clicking thumbs up, thumbs down, or uh, regenerating the responses. and yeah, Roblox also has an article on how you can improve your search results and how you can um, mark use use certain techniques to get better results as well. I'll leave a documentation link from Roblox themselves as a guide in the description below as well. But you can use both, and using both will give you the best responses from Roblox Assistant AI. And um, the first one like here is you can name it like number one I want to do this number two I want to do this or what they can do that will also be with the method that I'm going to use and you can read about it I'll leave it in like the description below so without further ado let's get started now if you go to the creator dashboard or the creator hub the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see this screen right here and you may not see the assistant um, on the top right corner even if you click dashboard it doesn't work you have to go on the documentation and you gotta go to any page in documentation and if you have it you will see it will say ask assistant and the assistant icon at the top it is still rolling out so it may not be out for you yet like on my main account so that's why I'm using my partner's account and yeah so you click on it and you're gonna be given over here you can review the guide like I stated earlier and you can also ask questions and start using Roblox Studio you can click one of these to ask a question about these as well or you can ask your own question. Don't share your personal information and check for your accuracy from the responses. Don't take everything it says and believe that it's true. Obviously do some research and click on the sources that it gives as well. Of course, it's an AI. Everything's not gonna be 100%. It's gonna be slip ups. You can always tell it to correct itself and it'll try to do a better job. But this is going to be my own guide on how I would use it and how I've used it before and this will give you better results and it's not 100 percent but it'll give you better results and it will be the five w's who what where when why now to do that i'm going to demonstrate it so let me write up a prompt real quick so hello we're back sorry for the cut there i had to write out this entire thing and you can write something similar to this but this will use the five W's that I said, who, what, where, when, why. So who is basically telling it how it should act. So we're telling it act as a coding tutor that teaches Roblox player Lua slash Lua scripting. Why is the two things for why is the end goal is to have the player be able to create a fun, safe and engaging experience and learn from every answer they received. But also the why in our question is, I want to begin my journey on programming and I can code, maybe go for that time frame. And I said, how should they, how should I do that? And what plan should I go to? They want to learn how to code on Roblox and they can only do it for two to three hours a day. Maybe can go a little bit over the time frame. Where is obviously going to be on Roblox when is when you can do this so it's two to three hours coding a day and of course why is the reasoning you want to create content on roblox and they want to create a part that kills them and with this uh, let me just go over everything sorry that's a little bit confusing but you understand in the end act as a coding tutor that teaches roblox players lua and scripting the end goal is to have the player be able to create a fun, safe, and engaging experience and learn from every answer they've received. Provide the player with relevant information 
which includes resources, links, guides, and code snippets to ensure the player understands and is on track and can learn on their own from the resources that is provided. The player may have a deadline, so take that into account when providing information and answers. The question and comments the player has will be inside of quotes to ensure there isn't any confusion. They should give you necessary information. They should give you every information you need, such as their experience as proficiency in programming, experience on the platform, their question or comment, their end goal, and possibly their time frame. Which, with the questions as I just stated, every question or response that you have, put it in quotes so the AI so the AI understands a lot more. Of course, you don't have to, but since it's at the very top of every conversation. Every conversation leading up to this, below this, will be counted for with whatever we give it to, if that makes sense. Because with these AIs, whatever thing you say at the very top, it'll always remember because these, these AI models learn and build um, things based off the conversation it just had with the answers it just gave you and the questions you just gave it. So if you're telling everything that it needs to know at the very top, then it'll continuously act the way that it should that you stated. So you're telling it to act as a coding tutor, so it's going to give you more relevant information about Lewis SQL scripting. Um, I forgot one part here. You have to change a bit. Um, fun and engaging and learn from every answer they received. Uh, actually, this is good enough. You can add on to it, like say, have make it have good performance and all these other things too. But this should be the general idea um, that you should write it at the very top. And yeah, it can be time consuming, but I'll leave a link to a GitHub gist in the description below that has this snippet right here, so you can copy and paste and add in your own information or spin to it. But this is my way that I think would give you the best results. Um, this is what I use for ChatGPT and Bing AI. It works great on those and it works good on robloxes of course they just released so maybe a bit buggy and stuff like that but let's let's see so with everything that i just said i want to create a part that kills you when you touch it i'm new to programming and have no idea where to start i want to begin my journey in programming on roblox i can code two to three hours a day and can maybe go a little bit over the time frame how should i do that and what plan should i go for and this is good but also bad in a sense, because I'm asking it what I should do and giving it the information it needs, but I'm also kind of asking two questions in one. So we're going to see how Roblox Assistant responds with that, but it should be the general idea. I, ho I hope all of this makes sense and I'm not chatting stuff that does that. Okay, I'm, I'm trying my best. So let's send that. And let's see what the AI responds with. As you can see, it's giving us all the plans and all the details that we need to do, including every single step that we need. And you can see, let's go at the very top. So we asked it, I want to create a part that kills you when you touch it. And all these other things, and we say you want to learn programming, renew, two to three hours a day. You can see that it knows and it responds that it's great to hear that we want to start our programming journey on Roblox. You can create a part that kills you as a good starting point. I have a video on that coming very soon. Here's a step-by-step -step plan on how I can get started. And, you know, because I asked it, how can I get started? What's the time frame? What should I do? It gives me, you know, learning the basics of Lua Social scripting. And it's telling us that we can go into Lua learning tutorials. Um, and a game that's also called Lure Learning, and we can find it on the Roblox Developer Hub. They should change it to the Creator to the Creator Hub, and with other links in here, they should also change it to the more relevant ones. But it still should work. Um, yeah, Lure's programming language Roblox uses how to set up an environment, download Studio, open Studio. You know, tells you you can go on the Home tab and click on the part to create a part, resize and position it. Add a script inside the part, right and click and put in a insert object, add a script, open the script editor, you know, delete the default script, and then it gives us the script that we need. And this this works by the way. This is the most basic one uh, you can have. 
but this is an example video of course on how you can use it to your to the best of your abilities and you can test it and yeah and it says remember to save your work frequently uh, you can explore and take it uh, more advanced concepts here's some resources you can learn about a little scripting because i want to know how to do that so it's giving me the developer form it's giving me the creator hub and it's giving me the um basics although although this is great um of course like i said a bit ago they should have given the more relevant uh results and give us the results from the creator hub because currently the resources they're providing here these two links are the old links to the old uh website you're using the developer hub instead of the creator hub and yeah they're saying good luck with any questions on my assistant feel free to ask and here are the fundamental things here are the things you need to know so the coding fundamentals creating scripts intro into coding game design these sources are the ones you need to look out for because these are from directly from the creator hub and they're most of the time relevant so of course we can go to coding fundamentals and into the coding because we want to code so they're going to give us that now let's let's try one last thing before i end off this video this video might be a little bit longer than it should have been let me just ask it how do i change the how do i change the walk speed of the player when they touch a part again i put it in quotes because i said i'm going to put my question in quotes and you can see that it gives us um, how to change the walk speed it tells us where it's at it gives us the function this works by the way and it as the walk speed it acts it by 10 so the default is 16 so it's going to go from 16 to 26 whenever somebody touches it and it's explaining it right here using the touched event it triggers the function and it'll set the walk speed by 10 you can adjust the 10 value and you can also add additional if statements if you want to limit the walk speed increase because right now if you touch it it'll always go plus 10 all the time which obviously you don't want that so obviously you can custom it yourself but yeah and it says attach the script to the part you want and it gives you evaluating multiple, multiple statements and it's giving you how to use the if statements now let's do one last question and this time without a quote so i'm going to say how do i sorry if you heard a background noise here um, i'm going to say how do i how do i create a leaderboard inside of my game i see other roblox games having that and it counts kills and other things i just kills other things this I'm referring to leader stats, but I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to say a leaderboard. And we're going to see how Roblox Assistant handles that. Because And also this time we're not putting it in quotes, so it's going to be a little bit confused, but you can see what it does. So, It knows, it knows what I'm referring to, which is very nice. And I didn't even put in quotes this time, so you can see that it also works the same way. Let's go step by step to see here. Let's collect a new script. This does create the leader stats folder, and it does create the kills. And when Okay, I don't know what this is really doing, but it's it, it should still work to an extent, because it is adding the value at the end of the day, it is adding the value. They say they're creating a function that takes the killer and victim parameter. Um, inside the function, they'll check if the killer player, ha if they have a leader stats folder and kills, and kills value, if they do, then add it by one. Now, this 
should still kind of work, I should say. Although they could have done this a lot better. Because this, this, this probably doesn't work at all. This doesn't work at all, right? But it, it does majority of it correctly. Because it does add the value and it does check if they have the leader stats folder. But it's going a bit extreme. Again, um, it's telling good luck on your leaderboard implementation. It's giving us luck. It's giving us relevant resources for leaderboards, scoring points, coding a leaderboard. So, you know, it does it does the right, gets the job done at the end of the day. And sorry if this video is confusing. This is the end of the video. I am sorry if this video is confusing, but just want to show you some tips that you can use when using Roblox Assistant as it's rolling out and how you can use it to its max efficiency uh, to get advantage of it. You can use Roblox's guide and you can, on top of that you can also use this which is the five W's that I mentioned at the very top. Of course, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to leave a link to all the documents in the description below and the gist to this whole um, paragraph and it would give you the best results and the relevant resources and um yeah if anybody at roblox is watching this video which i highly doubt but if you are try to change the references instead of developer.roblox.com to create.roblox.com use the creator hub instead of developer hub because that's outdated now um it's not really anything i can judge on right now um and yeah I'll be coding. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.